So now, as like any other classes, today also I'm just quoting from your own text. And uh, you should understand the very meager data given in the IGNO material because it's only an indication. Because all every therapy are very vast. And I have done all therapies in an extensive way and showed you all PPTs. But PPTs won't be helpful unless or you attend a class. Now the thing is that, uh, like in all other classes, this time also I'm quoting from your own text. So your text, text is mentioning, but it cannot uh, be so extensive. So it is said, uh, HIV counseling has its objectives, both prevention and care. United Nations. AIDS, UN AIDS, Technical Update, Geneva, 1997. So like, um, you should understand, this being my last class, please try to understand, the CBT is the apex of all, CBT is the apex of all therapies. Because you can include any therapy, any concept, a trait theory, a trait concept, because it's simple change in the trait, a concept, trait, a single trait, change in the trait or belief will change the whole person. So uh, it take, the, such a care can be given to the patients, uh, not by advising or solicitating that, okay, you have you are suffering from HIV or AIDS, what to do, then uh, they will be more depressed. Instead, if you can provide some resource, they'll be happy and it will be helpful to the patients. And uh, there are a lot of opportunities now in Panchayat level, local self-government level, in uh, actually in the metro cities, opportunities are more. So when you are called for an interview, whether you know how HIV is caught, uh, is it an epidemic or whether the contagious disease, how it is getting affected by people, then uh, what is the mode of treatment uh, because no direct medicine is available so all these we wish to discuss because care as said by un aids is possible only if you give enough knowledge to the patients so let me begin the class so care can be given only if you have in-depth knowledge by the literature in your text uh, you can very well read and understand these slides are provided with a view to give better support and confidence to AIDS HIV patients. So yes, uh, CBT based counseling for HIV and addiction. So that I'll be incorporating a lot of data to you. If you share such data in a nutshell to the patients to whom uh, you are interested because somebody may be getting a government contract assignment project and all that. At that time for interview, you should have very good knowledge. So in the no study material also speaks about stress under such conditions. So in the first year topic, cobblerosis theory on terminally ill patients and five conditions, rejection to acceptance. So, so I'm covering this portion on stress and its management at the end. Then uh, in all your internship, Students place at least one kind of addiction. Sometimes three, four addiction will be there in the cases. Alcohol addiction, mobile internet addiction. All these things are uh, you are taking up in your intention. Here also, many times uh, the Viva master used to ask uh, a question that uh, whether a psychologist uh, can help prevent the addiction or can a psychologist stop addiction through counseling? Many students, without knowing the chronicity, the work a task involved, the play of hypothalamus, etc., they might say it is possible. Then you will get poor master. So, for you to know, answer this question in a scientific manner, I have covered the portion of addiction in the most scientific manner. So please uh, listen all this. If you have got any doubt, in between also you can unmute and speak to me. So within the limited time, I tried to cover all difficult portions, all difficult portions. Rest of the simple, for example, gender identity disorder or counseling, vocational, 
all this is actually very vast uh, it involves all economics a lot of subjects but you can read and understand definitely if we get a uh, direct interaction possibility after the covid uh, we will assemble one day and share our uh, opinions your opinion be taken care of all our faculties will be ready to do it so let me begin the slides of this particular class so hiv aids this is your topic hiv aids counseling your topic so you should know what the trends and prevalence overview of hiv infection aids application of heart anti retroviral therapy because it's a virus so virus actually for your kind information virus doesn't kill anybody virus gives the secondary infections so you can prevent the secondary infection against any virus including the covid so aids are wasting syndrome hiv associated lipoid dystrophy that means a lot of blood related issues will come nutritional intervention as a knowledge to say you i am not asking you to do the dietitian job but there are i guess if you know through just by diet giving best nutrition best assimilation and absorption wasting syndrome can be prevented so all this knowledge if you know you can also help uh, enquire you can support uh, the patients through a nutritionist uh, than a medical doctor medical doctor of course since direct medicine is not available he also resort to this type of treatment only likewise a medical doctor if supports through diet you can also do it uh, if you have got enough knowledge not as a concrete uh, step to follow by them but at least share some knowledge so that they will be happy uh, there is nothing wrong in doing it so uh, to do any cbt or any such counseling you should have very good subject matter subject knowledge so you see it is something uh, taken maybe within a decade now the prevalence is more the countries the map everything is given it has only increased because it's a decade back so let me see the definition to aids because if you write all this suppose when aids counseling is asked if you can write like this you will definitely get better marks it is every term is defined so that that alone speaks what is aids i have colored it in blue and red <coughs> you know sorry <coughs> the full form of aids is that acquired immune deficiency syndrome syndrome means a multiple entry of various diseases into the body attack so acquired what is the meaning of acquired because it's a condition because if you write like this good wordings you will get better marks acquired because it's a condition one must acquire or get infected with not something transmitted through the genes immune means because it affects the body's immune system the part of the body which usually works to fight off germs such as bacteria and viruses so deficiency stands for because it makes the immune system deficient that's why those who have many illness including the covid many of the illnesses if uh, immune system is perfectly all right can fight the germs fight the organs organism then uh, even I, i think you have read uh, many people do not have any symptom of covid even if it is their tested positive because if the body can withstand that is no issue same is the case with aids that is the importance of nutrition and the prevention of secondary infection syndrome as i said because someone with aids may experience a wide range of different diseases and opportunistic infection what is opportunity opportunistic opportunity means i mean waiting for an opportunity so when the immune system is weak lot of entry of bacteria and other uh, things along with that if any particular organ in your body is deficient naturally that uh, organ will get affected was so acquired immune deficiency syndrome are you clear about the uh, expansion of this short form abbreviation aids 
Now, it's a mode of transmission, unprotected intercourse, injection drug use, other unsafe injections, blood transfusion, direct blood contact, mother to child. So all this, and if you are got more interest anatomy, you can definitely. That's why I just put a, one slide only. Expansion everything may take a lot of time. There's RNA, DNA, what is the difference? It has got only RNA, not DNA. In this picture, you cannot see DNA. It has got only RNA because DNA has got a, a particular behavior. RNA need not have. So that also we'll discuss. So pathophysiology, when pathogen. Pathogen and physiology. That means how a pathogen gets affected to the physiology. That's all this terminology a counselor should also know because when all these terms are used in the medical uh, treatment, if you are unaware of all this, uh, you will not get enough appreciation because suppose you are getting an opportunity to work in a hospital or in a government uh, hospice. So then uh, you should know all this. So it will be shameful to you after have holding a certificate in, in my psychology. When you are getting an opportunity at this, you should know how to learn more. So pathophysiology means a pathogen means any organism that is any gene, any bacteria, virus or anything that affecting the, it is contributing to the illness and the physiology, how that is getting affected with the body. So a retrovirus unknown until 1980s. This is actually in 1982 only. I heard about this. Uh, cannot replicate outside of uh, living host cells. So that's right. It's when it getting entered into the body. Multiplication is taking place. Contains only RNA. That can leave nucleus. No DNA. This is no such uh, instruction. Uh, the RNA has got lot more freedom. Destroys the body's ability to fight infections and certain cancers. So this is why if it is, one person is getting affected with uh, HIV, what happens is that he lost the uh, ability to fight infections. So if you can, uh, if Koskis asked, if you can write all these points and underlie, you will get better mark. Infect CD cells. CD4 cells, the scalper cells. We'll talk more about this. The primary target of HIV infection. That is when helper cells are getting affected, the total immune system goes wrong. Patients infected with HIV are at the risk of illness and death. As I told you, opportunistic infection. That is awaiting for such an opportunity for many pathogens to enter through the skin. Skin is one of the affected area. When you should also understand when I say skin, you should have very good medical knowledge in all this. Skin has got a lot of layers, epithelium. So it is the inner organ also, hollow. No? All the all of our organs are hollow. So inside the body also, the, that part is covered by skin. That also get affected. So neoplastic, the tumor growth. It the affect the tumor growth. So cannot prevent. No. Usually when immunity is there. Uh, all this uh, prevention by body was possible. So when HIV AIDS is getting affected, that the immune system is uh, getting affected, troubled. So our uh, immune system cannot work. So then CD count, CD4, helper cells, T4, it's called CD4 cells also known as T4 or helper T cell. It is responsible for signaling other parts of the immune system to respond to an infection. It's a normal count. You know, if you take an average of this, it is 500 to 1500 per cubic millimeter of blood. That is this T4 count required. At least 750, that is a, a midpoint, you can say. So 750 to 1000, it's a good count. So initially in HIV infection, there is a sharp drop in CD4, the T4 helper cells, and then count levels of around the 500 to 600 cells. Even at the 500 to 600 cell, uh, further uh, prevention is possible. But what happens is that it goes down to 200 and all. So 
secondary opportunity infection will also come at that time then the cure is not possible so that is why if you are getting a patient like this for counseling you should have this knowledge do you agree with me or you only want uh, the counseling part please try to understand without knowing all this data how will you because you will blink and blank before uh, an institution offering you a job or to a patient are you clear why i am talking all this normal counts range from 500 to 1500 cells 5500 then there is no chance of infections because uh, helper cells are active they prevent any uh, further attack so when it is even if it is 500 to 600 then also a prevention is possible at least a further degradation will not take place So, uh, CD4 count is a marker of likely disease progression. CD4 percentage uh, tends to decline as HIV decrease progresses. So, CD4 count or T4 is a marker likely disease progression. With the, the chances are based on this particular indication. So it tends to decline as HIV decrease disease progress. That's why in the beginning itself, uh, a sharp fall to 500 will take place. Further, it will go down to 200. Then uh, curing is very, very difficult. So treatment decision, uh, CD4 count can also be used to predict the risk for particular conditions such as pneumocytosis. There is pneumonia, it's based on pneumonia. CMV is like a herpes, herpes virus. Let's say, for example, chickenpox. You would have heard chickenpox, when it is getting affected, it happens only once in the life. But the, those who get affected with the chickenpox uh, get the second, uh, secondary attack as herpes. It, is, it, hap, it, it get affected with the nerve. The entire nerve root will get affected. Say, similar type of CMV. The such diseases are most common when the CD4 cells are, the counts are coming down. Often based on viral rod and CD4 count. You should also understand what is a viral rod. So with your permission only I am taking all this because even the COVID, I think it will be an information to you. Just by sneezing by a person or a person is very near to you, you need not get affected with any virus. It's the same in COVID. Because what is the viral load? The particular droplet. Particular droplet. If the viral load is very high, then there is a chance of getting affected. And definitely your immune system. That's why in the case of HIV, they are talking about two things. Viral load and CD4 count. So viral load is very high. That means the body cannot, the immune system cannot. So viral load will get increased day by day. So this is the chart. You can understand. It's a thousand. I told you, thousand five hundred is the extreme. No, the extreme can be much more than that also. But a thousand is healthy. When it is uh, coming down, eight hundred uh, early opportunity infection, bacterial infection, tuberculosis. Likewise, then comes the late opportunity infection when it is coming down from 600 to 400 then when to 200 or even fungus skin diseases everything will come so that is process t4 cells of cd4 count is a most important indicator so all these infections everything i have just said that is i'm not supposed to uh, tell but i just am sharing those who have got interest to learn more likewise if you study the entire uh, the entire uh, psychology subject you will be a master much more than a medical professional so you should have all this knowledge that's why i'm giving every class i'm giving loading with all this data all this you can conveniently do so that's why again what what we talked it is reinforcing hiv positive with the cd4 cell count that is or more or less than 200 cells then then only actually you can say it is 100% HIV. 
so that is why why it's called like this when 200 is there then chance of uh, recovery is very difficult so till that time even if 400 and other you can till still try still try to improve the condition so this knowledge definitely will help you to work as a team along with a medical professional if you get an opportunity especially government has government of india has got lot of in pune and all that there's an asylum itself we get opportunity to work even at the panchayat level tomorrow if i come or any such disease any virus even covid team covid brigade and all that if you got this knowledge this kind of base knowledge any other uh, man, organism uh, affecting the body you can study more that is the importance of studying the space HIV positives and with an AIDS defining illness such as BCV, fungus in the lungs, that is BCV. Then parasitic infection, all these infection, like carpose sarcoma, it is tissues of skin. So CD4 count is there, when uh, very low, it is sure. Then all the, these things are getting affected. It happens, it has a vicious circle, doshita valaya. That uh, I'll come to know about vicious circle later. At that time, you remember, even the cell count, the CD cell count, when it is getting affected, or those people who are having a lot of such diseases, uh, for example, in COVID, also it is said, those who are got a problem, diabetes, and uh, those who are suffering from lung disorders, there's every chance of getting affected with COVID. Likewise, when other infections are there, opportunistic infection will be high. Even if CD4 count is 600 and all that, regardless of this, get affected. So those who suffer from this should be very hygienic, should be away from all AIDS conditions. Otherwise, also, your sexual interaction, everything must be safe. Otherwise, this is one of the major reasons for uh, the metro city is why it is getting exploded. So, how it is working, everything I am giving is at your convenience study. So, a lot of side effects, medications taken, a lot of side effects will be there. So, likewise, the people will become like this. So, lean. Malnutrition. So, the nutrition has got a lot of role to do. Uh, that also I am sharing. So, it is called the wasting syndrome. Because in the first year you studied in the uh, early developmental disorders, you studied a word called metabolism. Metabolism means anabolism and catabolism. Anabolism is building up. That is, your muscles are getting, muscles are, get, because you will notice this wasting syndrome in your text, you will not understand what is wasting syndrome. So at least even if the question is not asked, you should know what is wasting syndrome. Why wasting syndrome is, is a condition that anabolism means building up of the mass uh, body by with the help of proteins and all that. So the muscles are made out of this. Now wasting syndrome, what happens is that uh, body weight will come down when fever illnesses are there. Because a wasting syndrome, it happens because whatever stored will be used by the body, catabolism. That is why anabolism with the catabolism is metabolism. So when the body is getting wasted means body try to make use of the already stored protein, etc. against related illness. Now when I read, you can understand. The wasting syndrome is defined as weight loss. 10% of the baseline body weight with a chronic fever, weakness, or diarrhea in the absence of other related less, contributing weight loss. So, unexplained weight loss is in the HIV virus. When HIV virus is there, it will be much, much more. Why? Because body is still trying to fight with the available immune system. So, immune system gets depleted. Hope you are clear. The wasting syndrome is so common. So, because any fever, because you know, uh, especially with the small children, you will know they are fat uh, um, and all that. But when they are admitted to the hospital and suffered from uh, high fever, uh, then uh, it get the body get emaciated. This is because 10 to 20 percent of the body storage the uh, protein etc. is taken away by the body uh, for the fighting of the disease and also for the function of the other organs of the body. But if such a loss is okay, you can build up again. But in the HIV, 
the fighting is so severe the immune system requires more and more uh, protein so the uh, catabolism will be very high it get depleted so wasting syndrome is so common in hiv infections so it's classified according to center for disease control uh, as a diagnostic indicator for aids that's why same way uh, is a condition with the diabetes diabetes though it's such infection is not there wasting happens because protein is lost through urine so it's all the basic knowledge is same only thing is how it is uh, affecting the body how the pathophysiology etc one should know so this this is a best uh, uh, picture on uh, how this opportunity infection immune function uh, metabolic rate the endocrine disorder how the other systems getting affected the endocrine system everything endocrine disorder is there so the thing is that is you have studied in the mps uh, mpc 01 in the first year a brain and endocrine system so why all these things are thought see the university can only give some indications it is your responsibility to study more about brain without understanding brain psychology is very difficult to understand so people uh, say why should i study all this i have taken only counseling psychology not even clinical now it is not like that why the first year portion is in, uh, included with all this concepts like uh, brain and uh, brain uh, disorder uh, sorry brain uh, functions and endocrine system because you should have very good idea so uh, body tonic phys physiology tonic is actually maintained by endocrine system the chemistry you know the neurotransmitter etc even the short notes you have written on this but you forget all this my dear students you should have very good knowledge about all this then only you can be a good psychologist so potential mechanisms of aid aids wasting is an increased energy expenditure i told you increased energy expenditure why because why i am talking all this in detail because other portions is simple literature you can read and understand So, so the topic is same. It's so different way the medical field that people are how people are doing counseling. It is already written there. Counseling can be done only if you have got a very good knowledge in this medical fact. So increased energy expenditure. How it takes place? I know I told you in the fever and all that the expenditure of the body energy is some ten percent to twenty percent. Here it is seventy percent, eighty percent. So uh, whatever goes inside. will not get absorbed the anabolism and catabolism and metabolism will not take place so energy intake also will come so why it decrease energy intake that is because it will come it will be just shown in another because uh, uh, i told you it get affected the skin skin means not alone the outer surface it is inside the hollow organs organ inside also skin is there when it is getting affected skin peeling is there itching is there ulceration is there intake will come down so that is why decreased energy intake is taking place because the skin diseases getting affected the hollow organs the inside the skin that you can even understand uh, yeah the mouth is a hollow organ uh, so in the mouth inside also the skin you know that uh, all the pimple and everything is coming so um, the blisters so all this blisters you know all these things happens uh, because it affects the skin so when it is uh, happening in the intestine there will be pain abdominal pain will be there so they cannot take food that is why decreased energy intake that is why the importance of nutritional therapy through other uh, injections or other liquids uh, the more and more uh, vitamins and minerals are to be loaded in the body as you know uh, in uh, covid treatment also vitamin c has got a very good oh, heavy loading of vitamin c is one of the treatments so all this vitamin c uh, this uh, gooseberry everything that you know all these treatments are being done for us uh, because it it cures not only the uh, vitamin deficiency it also helps a fiber uh, more and more fiber will be loaded so excretion will be good so all these things are very very important unless or if you are ready to study more you will just act as a counselor this given advice that is not enough uh, to be a good practitioner then altered metabolism that's why uh, enough 
uh, anabolism that is build, uh, building up uh, with the protein everything and using that is catabolism so altered metabolism means here uh, building is not taking place wasting is taking place so when if enough building is there wasting may not be a big problem but building is not taking place at the same time wasting is taking place then hormonal alteration as i told you endocrine system get affected so uh, all this i'm not going detail all these calculations are also here uh, so i'm just switching over to other say this is a you have studied the skinnerian therapy why this type of uh, therapy and suppose you are asked to do uh, to work with the community medicine department of a medical college or a government uh, uh, setup that means uh, the people have got all this uh, immoral traffic when immoral traffic is very high there's every chance that uh, hiv aids get affected so the skinnerian therapy uh, the negative reinforcement fear can be created you know repetition of a positive reinforcement means the uh, the behavior will continue the negative reinforcement means stopping of a behavior that is why in the this therapy that is why you study all the therapy i told you adhesion therapy uh, including de everything we discussed and even i uh, for a kind information uh, while uh, psychology students uh, psychologists do not use medicine you should understand the trait theory traits various types of traits and other every trait may be hundreds of medicines for you because the intensity of this for example you will say social skills are very good socialization in the second year i don't know whether you have already done the sentence completion test in the sentence completion test the three traits are found one of the traits is uh, socialization so suppose you are getting a high socialization that is in my highest count you are getting you appreciate that socialization may be a big problem in academics likewise uh, you have to study all theories and use it appropriately only through your sense even a training training is required that's why internship is given 240 hours that also students sometimes they will do copy something and get it done that should not should not be like this you should actually do the 10 cases then only of course covid limitations are there i understand then only you know how to use a skinnerian therapy in many of the illnesses here skinnerian therapy has a negative reinforcement fear is created in the younger generation uh, immoral they, they may not resort to immoral traffic that is important that is why through wasting and all that even the body, body dysphoria will take place all this stooping all this take place uh, Uh, belly all these are part of the skin diseases is shown in the picture so skinner and therapy is required to prevent the behavior immoral traffic and one of the causes for aids so hormonal factors are very very important thing your hypothalamus get affected uh, pituitary get affected uh, proper uh, the organ itself get affected so the, even if the pituitary is giving him so sorry Uh, hypothalamus is giving instruction to pituitary pituitary the organ cannot work because organ is already weak that is why it's called the syndrome vicious circle dushita valayavana aids and hiv so due to having application all these are things are there resistance training is a very very important thing as well as a psychologist and nutritionist of the medical the team when you work as a team you should know all this knowledge supervised exercise training in promising anabolic uh, strategy with uh, pts with aids so it's a physical training required because the anabolism happens only when the exercise is taken instead of excreting uh, the important uh, minerals and vitamins it should get up stop to the body that's why resistance training is there. studies of exercise training all these things are there uh, please learn when you get there so this is again uh, some additional knowledge this screen will give you why it is a vicious circle in malnutrition and hiv poor nutrition resulting in weight loss muscle wasting weakness nutrient deficiency that is increased 
nutritional needs reduce the food intake is actually is unincreased uh, reduce the food intake and increase the loss of nutrients increase the nutritional needs reduce the food intake i told you why reduce the food intake because the whole system the taste will not be there lot of itching will be there uh, when they take food uh, ulceration will prevent them vomiting will be there so they cannot take uh, in take in so at this time uh, small micronutrients that is the importance of micronutrients to be given to them to injection and with that increased vulnerability to infections and uh, enteric infection that is all this uh, diarrhea all these things will take place tb everything is written an impaired uh, immune system poor ability to fight hiv and uh, other infections i think now the picture is clear to you all these uh, things are again described there is a decrease in the amount of food consumed impaired uh, uh, nutrient absorption changes in the metabolism i think uh, you are very clear about the stuff mouth uh, throat ulcers uh, side effects of medication there is a causes of decreased food consumption i told you mouth and throat scores ulcers will be there abdominal pain will be there all this now we are clear about it how how the food insecurity and poverty one of the reasons so poor nutrient absorption so nutritional treatment is very important wasting syndrome so anabolism um, uh, anabolism cannot take place so proper nutrition should be given so when you work as a team you will need all these things hope you are very clear okay thank you now i can i switch over to the next portion do you have any doubts with regard to uh, hiv now the counseling part i have studied the Uh, counseling uh, you should know now i think by this time you know uh, unless there is a good proper knowledge counseling is not possible as far as hiv aids is required so based on the long experience only i am sharing all this data apart from i am mean, over and above what is mentioned in the your text are you clear do you have any doubts why i am sh i shared all this or do you feel this that knowledge is are not required so that i can go to the next addiction addiction again you should understand that because what do you know in the addiction is that smoking addiction drinking addiction drug addiction like in action hero bijo film it is uh, said even the, the bedrock uh, chain talimalak that will be stolen taken away by hitting down the mother when when a one person is drug addict or certain things let's say certain things are strong that next day the demand will come again the supply of the brain hypothalamus pituitary etc so demand will be there neurotransmitters will be demanding such chemicals body will be demanding the, otherwise they will be having shivering and all the pavlovian therapy is very very important this kinetic therapy is important all the therapies are cognitive therapy is important so my dear friends uh, what i am trying to tell you is that what happens in the case of addiction in the body so this is same thing the intensity may be different why i am in i am mean, struggling to convince you because it's an online class uh, even for your kind information even if it's a mobile addiction there are certain chemistry involved in the addiction so first let us learn the chemistry behind the addiction why it is a disease then only you will know instead of blaming the people who are suffering from a mobile addiction okay of course the mobile and all that learning is a factor that is why pavlovian theory is very very important how a behavior is developed in a person is equally important so let me begin that is right ad is a cd that means addiction disease is a complex disease so like hiv aids uh, i gave you a detailed learning and this addiction this is mentioned the hiv with the addiction it is written in your chapter i am giving extensive knowledge in this because addiction is a very common thing that students used to write as case study 3 4 they write and uh, during viva viva masters used to ask 
whether an uh, addicted uh, person can be cured through the intervention of the psychologist. Since psychologists are cured, all the psychology students have got very, very limited knowledge. They would say, yes, yes, I can cure. Then, now let us see whether how long, I am not discouraging, but uh, you, only psychologists can help in this case, but medications are must in any of the cases. So I love with medication. Uh, lot of environmental conditioning is required. Social support is required to prevent any addiction. It has got physiological, psychological, social factors. So physiology means, as you know, the, uh, a person, he is, uh, you are all, many of our housewives, 75% of the our students are females. You know, by 3 o'clock or uh, 4 o'clock in the evening, or in the morning by 10 o'clock, people are demanding for a tea. You can simply say that it is nothing but a uh, habitual. No, it is not habitual. Your body is getting habitual, not that you are uh, just alone your thoughts. It is because uh, if it is, a, it is said that if a housewife is keen to have a cup of tea or coffee at 10 o'clock or 4 o'clock on a specified time, then uh, that housewife has no right uh, to blame her husband for smoking or drinking. Because the same way the hypothalamus demands uh, caffeine in the tea and coffee, husband's uh, hypothalamus is demanding nicotine or alcohol or drugs. So that is why he just said it's a complex disease. In the TV, you may be seeing a particular uh, advertisement, Nicotex by Cephala Pharmaceuticals. So Nicotex, actually the same nicotine. That is why for counseling, you should have ample knowledge. The uh, nicotine is given through tablet. Nicotine as such is not toxic. It will not create only excessive Moderate use of nicotine will not make any trouble. The nicotine, when it is burnt at the tip of the cigarette or BD or any such things, it will be 200 degrees centigrade hot and all. At that time, lot of toxins, it is found that around 400 toxins, uh, carcinogens are there uh, in smoke. That's why sm passive smoking. Even if uh, you don't smoke, passive smoking can create cancer, throat cancer, lung cancer. So please try to understand, it is physiological, now it's clear, why it is physiological? Psychological, why? Because again, uh, you've got a, a satisfaction level. That's why even when Nicotex ability state, uh, hypothalamus, physiology is satisfied. So please try to differentiate between these two. As an online class, your cooperation is more important. Uh, physiology means uh, now the hypothalamus is happy because the cortex is taking nicotine smoke, smokers uh, requirement. The, the hypothalamus is demanding nicotine. That is satisfied. But the psychological satisfaction, that is fixing a cigarette in between the lips and enjoying that activity, that psychological need also one of the reasons and again uh, as you know uh, psychological the capacity measuring and the drinking and all that so when people are joined together enjoyment so through a tablet such an enjoyment is not possible again social factors social factors is taken uh, in both the negative and positive way that is environmental conditioning of the panel of I hope you remember the first class I've taken, or first or second class I've taken, the behavioral therapy again. In that case, all behaviors are learned. Any behavior can be stopped, but Pavlov is clearly telling that better cognition is required. A thought should be there. And better cognition, environmental conditioning, effort. One should have an effort. Better cognition must be there. Environmental conditioning. Social factors. For example, uh, doctors give medicine, you counselors give uh, counseling. But what happens? He is taken to the same society, same environment. So that is why 
the, even the smoking advertisement is prevented by seeing a picture of a person smoking and enjoying a person is addicted with uh, smoking will prefer to take another smoke see that's why i have taken only one slide this much explanation i am giving please try to understand how the students will get this knowledge if i am giving only the slides so this is the problem so uh, the physiological need psychological need a social need environmental conditioning all these are very very important factors just i am taking a one minute break i'll come back to you Okay, that is why addiction disease is a complex disease. I hope you are clear about it. So you should not blame a person. Uh, he is like this. He lost everything because of his drinking, smoking. It is uh, of course, of course, neurotic conditions are there, but physiological requirement is much more in them. Otherwise, there will be withdrawal symptom. They will have all this problem. You can say you can blame them. But those who are really addicted, that is why addiction. When addiction comes, medication is will be required. Otherwise, that much should be his willpower. Psychologists can help. The truth. It is a mental illness, but it has physiological, psychological, and social factors. Now, how to structure the board of treatment? Is it effective? Certainly. It is effective. Consider the lifespan. Begin at the earliest. Suppose a person has begun the drinking at his 20s. If addiction symptom is there, because that is without that, that you will come to know when I improve with the continue with the slides, you will come to know the importance of uh, why I am talking again, reiterating that please wait and see what is addiction. Many people may be drinking, uh, not drugs, drugs even one single use is very dangerous. Many people may be drinking one or two packs in a WHO health condition. The five factors they are telling no smoking, moderate drinking that are allowed, moderate drinking, even for driving, uh, while driving, it is allowed. Moderate drinking is possible. So, for health, uh, they are telling five conditions that is no smoking under no in this circumstances, smoking is dangerous. Moderate drinking is healthy, according to them. I, we don't want to promote it, but. WHO's condition, moderate drinking, uh, no smoking, moderate drinking, proper sleep, sex, and exercise. These are the five conditions of health. They are not, uh, not the health definition, the requirements. So in the case of addiction, it is not like that. It begin with the moderate, but what happens, you will come to know in the exercise. See, uh, any type of abuse, that is, it's an industry, set up is industry, a worker, or two workers. Even a corner, a corridor is sufficient for them. So they use any opportunity to drink because they will have a company. Any type of illegal activity, legitimate activity, they will support in between, MI. So that is why it's because of the addiction. Now, what are the three C's of addiction? Control, compulsion, chronicity. That is a three C's of addiction. Why I am telling you is that over and above we are text material. Text material you can simply read and understand. The portion I am expanding. So beginning through friends and environment. Why it's control? The violation when it is begun, it was under control. Because even through friendship, they will have fear. No, oh, should I take it this much? Okay, let me take only very little. So at that time, control was there. But slowly became unaware of the drastic negative changes that are taking place. So when it is taken, addiction, if addiction is there, that person will definitely search for another drink or another smoke, another drug 
प्रेस immediately after that or the next day same time the hypothalamus will start demanding so that is the difference between addiction and once in a while drinking in the case of smoking and the use of drug 100% control is required no should the best thing is don't take if there is an addiction the solution is let there be no first that there no continuation first and final only no uh, continued using of puff or drink so addiction that it will add it will only add so become unaware of the drastic negative changes are taking place cognitive distortion and that we have discussed the cognitive distortion at some point all that i have discussed when i took uh, uh, cbd so unwilling to accept you can see the previous slides unwilling to accept changes ignore severity the abundance of impending chronicity is unknown certainly the disease has grown to a level this began with a control at the end of control the control is lost compulsion same ocd Com obsessive compulsive disorder some compulsive same compulsion will be there i want at least one one unit now after few hours the hypothalamus again demand But the blood level again the alcohol has gone down the nicotine has gone down see the difference between addiction and uh, once in a while use the case of addiction there will be compulsion compulsion is taking place because of the brain chemistry blood is not having when the blood the moment the blood is having a reduced nicotine a reduced alcohol reduced drug substance the hypothalamus will be demanding produce it whereas the who cannot produce uh, these things the body cannot produce or the pituitary cannot give instruction to other organs and produce so that is why there will be shivering you know withdrawal symptom that will last only for few days but the thing is that uh, within that uh, some there should be some medication otherwise that person will break the head uh, they will try some methods to have it so even tragic incidents do not tempt a positive change even as we said by the wife will not change the mental thoughts of the patient because the patient is a complex disease addiction is a disease there is chronicity consistent demand becomes nature the nature short breaks result only in spontaneity even long breaks suppose due to some reason a thought change is there to some person deliberately his attention was directed to something else that person also will come back to chronicity that's right uh, an addict card relinquished by himself he himself cannot take a decision but he himself will not take a decision that i will stop very very rare cases it happens so any person would be like this he can uh, walk over a string or walk over a string if one dose is given so for me to be normal at least one unit is necessary that's what it, this picture shows addiction risk factors traditional remember family history including as entertainment we had as been very important in family is uh, if addiction is there even a small child will have that tendency because they see in the family the elders are drinking thoughts uh, that you may see it is an uh, you may say as an entertainment uh, even one drop will be given to the tongue of the small children but what happens is that if addiction is there that fixation will take place freudian fixation that's why all therapies are important so these are these type of traditional things also one of the reasons for addiction beginning at early ages maybe for a christmas or on a bishu but if addiction problem is there that will only aggravate childhood abuses i am blamed i am not satisfied through sex let me drink all these are addiction only then pavlovian second threat first threat is 
is also same. Uh, first threat is there in uh, drug and drink addiction. That is why uh, spontaneous recovery of a learned behavior. They want to continue that behavior. Next thing is justification, generalization. Uh, Pavlo said uh, the second major threat in changing the behavior is generalization. So academic issues, when academic failure is there, people may drink. Psychological illness in patient, depression, hallucination, unrealistic, psychotic thought in history. All these people have become addicted. That's why risk factors are there for them. See the brain, healthy brain and cocaine addict brain. Prolonged use of brain structure and history. See this particular beautiful pictures. So now, what answer you will give? What are the three C's of addiction? Can somebody answer? We have worked there. I'm asking three, what are the C, three C's? Anybody can answer now? If you have listened, you can. Like a school online class, now I'm asking my students, children, to answer three questions. What are the three C's? Sir, control, compulsion, and uh, chronicity. Very good, very good. I'm satisfied. So again, truth or not, it's those responsible themselves are responsible for addiction. See, they read the sentence very carefully. It's those those irresponsible themselves are responsible for addiction. How far it is true? So that means it is a disease. That is why you should not blame them. Huh? I'm not saying that uh, blanketly you should appreciate them. No. When addiction is there, it is a chronic disease. So it is those irresponsible themselves are responsible for their addiction. They themselves are not uh, responsible. Their hypothalamus demanding the normal condition is in their favor. That is why addiction is continued. So you should uh, treat them and solve for that environmental condition, society, family. All these involvement are required. I hope you are clear. So not that's why. Unless unless you know all this, the viva you say you through counseling you can do. You cannot because addiction is a disease. Treatment is required. Counseling alone may not work. How drugs and alcohol work? It affects the whole nervous system and the neurotransmitters. As if one has achieved they, because. Uh, by drinking, the neurotransmitters get activated. So they say they are overwhelmed. They said they have achieved everything in the world by taking this. So for such satisfaction, they go take a, they go and take it, go, go take a deal. So that you know, when you are very tired, getting a cup of coffee, you are overwhelmed. No? Likewise, uh, they are also, when they are addict, otherwise also those who drink, they are getting some comfort. So one is comfortable, Depression is gone. So when the depressed person by their drinking, depression will go because the co earlier the cognition was his thought, the cognition was you know, something was troubling him. So when he's taking drink or drug, uh, that depression is gone because the cognition is not there. That is why distortion in cognition when drinking is taking place. Unknowingly becomes addict, the chronicity is unknown. Chronicity means uh, whether I am that chronic, they will not, oh, no, 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 nothing has happened. I can stop anytime. All these people will say, if I, if I want, I can stop because they do not know the chronicity. They cannot stop. That is a problem. That is why now December 31st is coming. No, many people will take a decision. Uh, this is my last puff, the last uh, peg. What happens, you know, within a week, they'll start. So reaches an uncontrolled quantity of intake. If not taken, all withdrawal difficulties. Uh, uh, I have witnessed many withdrawal people who has withdrawal symptoms. So very severe is the condition to those who witness us. So again, this is the importance why psychologists uh, should be intervened in this treatment. One minute break, please. We're tired. So dopamine receptors, dopamine means giving a satisfaction. Now dopamine spells reward means that release is there. 
recycle, activate. So natural rewards, you know, why you are happy? See, now it is near 11.15. By 1 o'clock, you are hungry. So it is natural. Natural rewards are considered in the four categories. Food, the sex, excitement, the comfort. That's why for excitement also, people go for dangerous things. Some satisfaction is getting. Food, naturally, it gives a lot of rewards. Satisfaction. The taste. Sex. Again, through skin only, it is transferred to the brain. That is why people engage in this. So any comfort, it's a natural reward. So naturally, food and drink is a natural reward. So people, those who are addicted, should definitely choose that. What is wrong in it? Because they are ill. If their energy can be transferred to some other activity, their behavior will come down. That is the importance of the psychologist. So food, sex, excitement, comfort are the Four categories of uh, natural rewards, any just natural rewards are included in this four category. Now you see why it is important uh, in the medical profession, why the uh, psychologist should work in combination with that of uh, doctors is that uh, they have cleared, they have, they have studied that which portion of the brain uh, is supporting, so what tissues are supporting this kind of drug. That is also found. You will see this. For example, alcohol, this particular area of the brain is getting stimulated. Heroin, cocaine, like this. So some medicine should work. You just imagine some medicine should go and rub in this area. This particular uh, type of medicines will reach brain and work. That is why. So what should be your answer when the Viva Master is asking, can you cure? Yeah. To some extent, to, depends on the patient, his chronicity. The chronicity is very important. Whether control, chronicity, all these three factors you said, compulsion. Only based on the control, compulsion, and chronicity in a patient. That should be your answer. That's why I told you. Suppose a my master is asking whether you can prevent the stop of the addiction. The question is very simple. It's based on the control capacity the patient is having, the compulsiveness the patient is having, and then the uh, chronicity. I hope you are clear. That is why I covered this. Otherwise, you'll be telling this nonsense, you'll be getting poor marks. Only. So same is the condition with that of I told you the natural rewards. You come to the natural rewards, put the sex, excitement, comfort. So a child who is addicted with a, a boy or teenage boy is addicted with a mobile or internet or the WhatsApp, whatever. He is getting excited. He is getting comfort. So a lot of movies. It's all. See, that is why the brain is demanding it. It is when it is becoming an illness. It should be treated. The energy channelization should take place. That is, uh, please cooperate with me. I'm also tired after taking all the efforts. Now you should understand why a mobile addict a child should be treated and the parents should be convinced that not direct punishment and that is a solution. So if food, sex, excitement, comfort are the uh, dopamine receptor rewards, natural rewards to dopamine. When a child is taught, you have studied the Erickson's theory, that is 0 to 1.5, 1.5 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 12. 6 to 12 is the best academic period, 6 to 12. Because it's a period, uh, according to Freud, is that is a period. The other one is most enthusiasm the child will be having. And you know, from first to sixth standard means all the basics are taught. At that time, if the child is not uh, getting enough academic knowledge, when teenage comes, teenage, you know, 13 to 19, the child, for the child, studies are difficult, very difficult. So naturally, the child will choose natural rewards. So natural reward for the child is now mobile, so getting addicted. So if the energy can be channelized to studies, easy methods of learning. That's why psychologist has got a lot of role in academics. 
so this way you can help the children from addiction by deviating the energy towards studies so behavior pathways one himself creates very every platform to save comfort that's why an addict will find any some reason if the mother is telling if you read a study for one hour i will give mobile then again what happens while studying also his thought is somehow satisfy the mother so that i can get the mobile so that's why every platform will create actions are controlled by subconscious mind unpredictable behavior doesn't need a change in behavior now it has become the behavior that is that's why the addiction so addiction a dog with a bitten bond we have seen many dogs may be having especially stray dogs they will be having something in the mouth so they will leave that or leave they are getting a better one that's right that's right when addiction is a disease that is to be treated instead of blaming the patient treatment is to be given treatment is you know physiological psychological social environment condition family everybody should be involved even if it is a mobile addiction if the mother and father every time looking into the mobile child has learned a lot of things child is also getting comfort now child is uh, addicted to this even now the parents are not ready to ready to stop using the mobile such mobiles for calling you can use other mobile every time the parents are looking to the whatsapp relatives are looking to whatsapp lot of uh, information they are getting so stopping is not possible so it's a loss of cognition is there real thoughts will not come facts become unclear they sort the solutions are always nonsenses every time the solution is that uh, okay let me use for 10 minutes okay 10 minutes uh, then they will say amma amma they will beg give me a for another 10 minutes so even when they are studying uh, they are involved in this mobile activity only or any such activity so any addiction should be treated with all this physiology psychology social environmental conditions very very important thoughts never in his control these deficits are similar to those with the brain damage so when the brain damage is there uh, thoughts are not clear same way addicted people their thoughts will be like this damage is already taken place not the physical damage chemical damage so what are the truths again i am showing this same slide addiction is certainly a mental illness it has got a physiological psychological social factors how to structure we have discussed the whole therapy suddenly consider life span begin early the whole therapy that you studied you do not know sometimes uh, for a child uh, deviation of the energy through love and affection by the parents may solve the problem so it's all as a practitioner i am telling you you have got lot of role other than medicine but medication may be required or it is advisable if the addiction is very high my dear friends i covered uh, two important portions of your syllabus what do you say uh, i wanted to continue with a stress because i searched uh, all your portions only very little is talk talked about the stress have you seen i put the query in the whatsapp group also so i would like to cover that because in uh, your text material hello with uh, aids hiv the stress like in cobbler uh, uh, cobbler roses theory stresses will be there in any such disease not only if in aids uh, cancer ter all terminally ill even with the diabetic people with the second not eat well lot of issues are there so stress is there stress is a part but have you seen anywhere first day you have to answer uh, how you understood the second part addiction is it clear to you have you studied something uh, covered anything any portion in stress uh, please answer somebody that how addiction portion you understood because uh, proper updation may not be taking place but you should understand that the stress is one of the area that psychologists try to manage with all these people because i told you uh, with uh, addiction when the child is brought or any other illness when the people are brought they will have stress in the, your uh, text 
it is mentioned just mentioned stressors uh, especially in the case of hiv aids and other let us study what is stress <coughs> this is my own sentence as i go for uh, camps and all that so sad any moment of sadness is a lost opportunity to make happy suppose something very valuable is lost to me life or property i will be sad it's quite natural but technically a lost it is a lost opportunity so come back to happiness at the earliest that is the thing what we expect now stress uh, okay you please uh, utter yourself there maybe you are sitting at various parts of kerala you please try to utter along with me that means i am now talking you utter yourself you will be clear stress means stress means your belief that you don't have sufficient resource to overcome a problem stress is nothing but the belief of the people or the to some extent is a truth that we don't have resource to overcome a problem so stress means the belief or the actual truth that we don't have sufficient resource to overcome a particular problem i can very simply tell you suppose i am an advocate i better with a casual legal issue small legal issue police is angering me since i am a legal practitioner i will have some stress but i know the extent of uh, charges so i may not be that worry but an ordinary layman suppose he is uh, charged with a case he will be worried he will be reluctant even to go to fear to go to a police station or likewise if i got enough resource to some extent to some extent stress can be controlled finance is also one of the resources but it is never the one and only resource finance is certainly a resource to reduce a tension but it is never the one and only solution as you studied the trade to theory in the first year trades are the most positive trades good positive trades are the best resource to best resource to overcome a problem because you have got uh, better strength than you can face so let us see what is happening in the case of stress so that same thing what i said that i told you to utter myself with a, along with me that technical definition says stress is the demands placed on the individual that are perceived as threatening that demands that tax the individual's resources stress thus involves a perceived threat which an individual thinks that may strain or exceed her resources her or his resources so this is the stress so usually you just read now you can read there these are the problems suffered by the people who are suffering from stress just read it let me take a two minute rest i hope you will agree that you have this many of you have this problems when you face with a stress your response is also welcome so perspiration sweaty hands increased heartbeat trembling nervous tics dryness of throat and mouth tiring easily urinating frequently sleeping problems diarrhea indigestion vomiting butterflies in stomach headaches premenstrual tension pain in the neck and lower back loss of appetite or overeating susceptibility to illness vulnerability all these are stresses now you see the endocrine system we have studied in the first year the same thing when stress is there hypothalamus understands stress whether it is fight or flight chemical depends on this the uh, what is a trait theory traits based on the traits people have, will have pumping of many combinations various combinations of epinephrine norepinephrine composition chemicals fight or flight so that will be transferred to the bloodstream it affects the billions of neurons 
neural transmitters are awaiting where between the axial terminal and the next dendrite of the cell. You have studied in the first day. So this is the biology of stress. If you have got enough resource to support, even a solace by your family member, stress will come down. Or if you got a tra positive trait, you failed, you are stressed. Okay, what is that? I will write after six months. No issue. I, you, you can improve your the quality of that way you can take or if you take advanced stress before examination good positive stress that you will come to know the, the downward u-shape curve is the stress we'll see this see this is a downward u-shape curve of stress so when this is an alarm for example, I think you most of you have to write examination. Most of you have to write examination uh, by February, I think, second years. So if you get an alarm now, at least now it is uh, December 12 only, half of December. So you have clear two months. You are getting an alarm. Yes, I have exam. I have to write a few pending papers of first year and uh, the purpose of second year okay you take that way you are getting an alarm so even if the uh, climate is so cold uh, the morning you will wake up at four o'clock you will study that means that stress is good you know you see the arrow is given upward so such an alarm is always good till resistance you must be able to resist okay uh, only 90 percent of the stress is good or 60 percent of this depending on the my physiology some stress is okay but if you are getting migraine still you are trying to study you will get exhausted so stress is a healthy task if you do it in well in advance on the previous day of examination if you try to take stress what will happen you will get exhausted so we'll come to say downward u shape curve is stress So in this class, it has got three conditions called alarm reaction, resistance, and exhaustion. I have shown you now the U-shape curve, downward U-shape curve. Alarm reaction is at first response. You are given a task, whether I can take it or not, or relinquish. If you take uh, the responsibility, then you have to work up. Then resistance, you should work the maximum. If you don't work properly managing your time and resource, you will get exhausted. So this is stress. Fight or flight response, I told you. This is what? A tedious project given by a superior in the late evening. Results should come in the next day morning. They, 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 your manager has to go. Your superior has to go by next flight in the morning. So you take, uh, you are free to take this uh, responsibility. So it's the alarm. You can say you are not interested. Then no problem, that responsibility will be given to you. Another, maybe sometimes your records may be bad, but you will not collapse here. But if you can complete, you will get a promotion or you will get a reward. But if you accept it, see the difference. If you accept that and doesn't complete, you will get exhausted. There is every chance that you will be terminated. See the difference. Now you can understand it better using this example. And so Peter is giving you a chance an opportunity to do some work it's an alarm to you or the superior is asking whether you can do in your career also career guidance this is one of the techniques that we use the only those who are interested in a particular field do it but due to unemployment and all that we are forced to take any job but so a lot of alarms are there so you cannot resist means you will exhaust so in this particular example suppose you are given a freedom to undertake a better work if you take it, means you have to complete it. That means, that means you will resist. You will get a reward also. But if you accept and doesn't complete, you will exhaust. Same way, many students are uh, crying, lamenting. I am not able to complete. You didn't do in the in advance. At least now also you have got two months time. Try, you can overcome. And you will not get exhausted. So it's a case study to make you understand. It's a real case happened in US, US decades back. 
the carpenter's huge and rich workshop in sense he has got his own woods forest to make any type of furniture anything so here a multi millionaire ordered a coat worth uh, lakhs of dollars and uh, unlike uh, in our nation there are clear contact contracts so till it is for the wedding of the son so it's a present that is giving till 8 am on that day that can, person can bring it he is also a multi millionaire he has got that much money rich enough but the contractor accept the offer as i will build it and deliver to you but this particular uh, coat is made out of pearls and all that when litten or when the sunlight is coming inside the room it will make flowers in the on the walls of the bedroom so such a beautiful marvelous work here let me see what happens so of late a coin and expectedly the only two experts that this particular contract is having two expert workers to make all this with the pearls and all that to make the butterfly pictures in on the wall but they met with an accident when they were joining going together it was an accident now the same thing happened to two people you understand that same thing happened to two people two carpenters or I mean, two workshops that multi millionaires they are also not like our small or like even not even like in royal high furniture market people that you see in the city much above in us see the particular contractor a contractor himself is a special tool like armula kannadi the mirror of armula the family members know this likewise this contractor knows this technical expertise to do this he himself trained many people they are working in other workshops there uh, he is keeping a very good relation with his workers for example even for a new year or any other function and celebration annual jal body meeting of the company he is inviting such friends there it is like this boss uh, superior that is not there you can call by initial so such friendship is there suppose this is contractor one he is having the same problem how he face it how are the person face it so the possibility of managing the stress with regard to the personality of contractor two the contractor has no knowledge in carpentry so in the first case the contractor had enough knowledge so he could easily manage it but this person he has no knowledge he doesn't have any relation good relation with people no connection with other workshops now we are trying to compare the contractor one and two we are trying to prove our definition the contractor one he keeps time by working himself because he has got skill seeks the help of other experts not even seeking his required because other people will come and help him on listening to this easily overcomes his stress the contractor is resourceful that is why he resisted the contractor two he doesn't know anything in carpentry he doesn't have good interpersonal relationship what happens unable to keep time ends up in huge liability maybe that the penalty there is huge cross so or lakhs of dollars stress should sir contractor had no resource to overcome stress i hope now you are clear about the definition if you have got enough resource first is mental trait money everything is resource very good job is a good resource good uh, social setup is a good resource relatives those are ready to help your own knowledge is a resource so what we try to def uh, define or what i asked you to attack myself was uh, stress is nothing but or the belief that you don't have in sufficient resource to overcome a problem are you clear about this particular definition and explanation i have given to you with regard to stress please somebody respond so that i can complete uh, after few slides Yes, sir, it is clear. That's right. Make enough resource, not alone money. Good career, good job, uh, good knowledge for your examination. Study from now itself with better resource. Let us see. So here, what is the 
condition of your hypothalamus. It's a very important thing because the first year you have studied this, but you have forgotten or you skipped the portion. The brain and the endocrine system, the sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system. See, for example, how can I ex uh, explain you is that I am going to tell a very small story. That is a boy, these two boys, you know, same picture of two, same two picture of same boy. So difference in the expression only. One boy who is walking down, walking through a canal road, a side road, by two light, two light, Sandhya Same, two light. Is that dark nor light? So he is seeing a particular image that a snake, a snake, uh, uh, raising the head. So the, he has a lot of fear. Now I told you about the traits and the resource, etc. Now what happens is the physiology of stress. The physiology of stress, what happens is that this boy is afraid now. At this time, he may even urinate. He may defecate. Why? Because his body's mechanism to reduce the weight of the body, the person has to run away. The fight versus flight. For example, you know, there are people, Vava uh, Suresh and all that. He has got resource. He will simply cast that snake. So that is why, if I have got a resource, stress will not be there. This uh, ordinary boy like our people like us, we are afraid to see this. So what happened? The pupil widens. The eye, eye pupil widens because that person wants to concentrate and see what is happening. Mouth becomes dry. Heart accelerates. Uh, swelling is there in the heart. Lungs expands because it has to carry oxygen. Uh, digestion slows down. The sexual organ, uh, anticlimax, because of the, uh, the least expansion is required because the blood is to be traveled, blood and water is to be traveled to other body, sweating increases. But see this boy, when he's watching very carefully, curiously, what is the next uh, action, of, he understands that no, there is no movement. When he comes very, goes very near, he understands the rope tied, the leftover of some rope. Now what he will say? He will confirm. He will just uh, play like a ball. He throw it away with his leg, legs. See the next moment when the picture changed. Earlier, the sympathetic system acted in him. Now, parasympathetic system acted because he realized nothing from there. All body condition becomes normal. Now you compare this condition when you are angry at a domestic atmosphere, whether it's the husband, wife, or mother, you shout, throw away the picture plates, hits at your own head, the relation gets frustrated. Even after three days, four days, even after one week, you have got a fighting mind. This is because the parasympathetic nervous system is not helping you now like in that of the snake. This is because your own traits, your own behavior. If you are ready to relinquish many of the things in your life, your parasympathetic will help you. I hope you are clear now. So this I have shown you already. Uh, you should uh, know your limits and work. Then there will not be any exhaustion. Or if you don't work now and try uh, to study your uh, uh, this uh, therapy, Jainras are covered many of the things, he sent all the, uh, he, he sent all the slides, he, uh, we are all free to ask any doubts to him through WhatsApp or so, but you don't use all this opportunity and on the previous day of uh, your examination, if you are born, uh, in the last week of the examination, you are opening the book, naturally you will have stress, hope you are clear about this. Now they, all these systems, uh, once again, to make you understand what is pituitary, what is pineal gland, what is the secretion taking place, this lobe, everything I am giving once again, 
you please read and understand for you to make an autonomous nervous system sympathetic parasympathetic nervous system all these pictures everything shown and the stress causes again the cbt cbt application cbt your own belief your own attitude expectation about the world and ourselves our habit and behavior our personality means type personality are responsible for the stress if you believe that uh, okay some loss is there i got this much life some loss just happened due to internal loss of control those who have got very good internal loss of control will not have any stress because they accept the problem but your belief is that others are responsible for all my uh, issues then you will be troubled you expect uh, because uh, i think you have studied all this in cbt you change your belief your stress will go down so not that time you have to relinquish everything you know your limits are work stress versus will be, will be all these illnesses will take place so when you are getting a terminal so of course if i am getting terminal ill tomorrow i will have stress but i should understand what i can do best so all these are very very important factors in managing stress so that uh, there are few tolerance levels in stress frustration tolerance understand the nature and source of frustration suppose you have got a stress you should understand from where the stress is coming so like in cbt avoid aggressive self defeating responses if you heard my class on cbt what we decided self defeating thoughts action should be avoided one should leave with self enhancing thoughts then you will have help select appropriate tax or achieve more independence in the life have a good career good earning enough saving good relation all these are resources you have got more resource stress will come down so that's why erickson's theory if you really work hard and struggle of course ready comes that is within 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 this is not within your reach then you have to accept it otherwise if you plan well a life can be beautiful according to erickson by 40s and all that one can even over can be overwhelmed because one should study well achieve the minimum things very good career identity crisis is telling all this you have studied everything in fact much better than much more than a regular college student you have studied we are taught you everything the only thing is you have to put more efforts and learn to delay gratification of any desire you have got desire i want a very good car a good very good house a good job try 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 post try to postpone and achieve finally conflict tolerance awareness calm the more you are aware about the stress the reasons for stress try to avoid or face it so this is the important thing then anxiety tolerance our ability to function even i am not i, I open it uh, the ability to function while feeling threatened for me many of the time i may need a solution uh, to work out actually healthy thing is even when the person stressed one must be able to accomplish the task but everybody may not be there it to for me what i will do i will try to resolve the problem to the maximum or try to accept then work so cognitively a uh, person should be cognitively anxious assertiveness be bold enough the things that you cannot accept tell at face you cannot so that's just so give this record always we get into trouble withdrawal if nothing is possible withdraw accept my invitation and be happy change uh, uh, when deviate your energy to satisfying things never at the cost of others then compromise if you cannot compromise at least so these are the methods so even as very complicated picture is there after you study all this what all things i said i have put in a picture whatever things i did i drew a picture and put it at the end this called general adaptive syndrome 